Um, because you're one of the few people in the industry that my mom, that's still in the industry that my mom recognizes or remembers because, you know, it's, it's been a long time and it's full of new people. Um, so how long have you exactly been working in the adult exactly. industry? Way before you were born, young lady. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I answered an ad at the UCLA Placement Center in mm-hmm. 1973 when I was a student there. I was mm-hmm. looking for part-time work and... Bill Margold was running Pretty Girl International. You might know who these. Oh yeah, I know who Bill Margold is. Are. And uh, they were looking. He was looking for girls. Yeah. But I answered it, and I said I was a writer, also whatever. I came in, visited him. I wrote a couple stories for his little newspaper that was on newsstands. It was right. called Yes. Mm-hmm. Was the name of it, and I wrote the first one. He liked it. He published it. I got paid a penny a word. Fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Wow! And uh, then he sent me out on a job to do a little caning thing. I got paid thirty-five bucks, and uh, I wrote a story about that. And then he put me, sent me out on some other jobs. I wound up doing a little bit of hardcore. I now, wrote, performing in it or directing it? Performing, performing. Because oh, you started off as a no, performer, we're talking, right? I was barely twenty-one years old. Okay. And uh, and then I uh, started directing not until ten years later. Okay. So, so how, I mean, there, were you, were you ever, did you ever have dreams of getting in the adult industry or was you just kind of accidentally fell into it? I was sneaking books from my father's uh, place. Books? What are books? I don't know. We're talking the 60s <laughs> it's, here. It's the was, magazine. I realized. It's the internet on, made out of hidden, trees. <laughs> he had something hidden under the seat of his car. And this, <laughs> we're talking the mid 60s here. So when you say and, books though, you don't mean magazines? I, there was a fiction story with a cool cover. There was a newspaper type thing uh-huh. with a couple of pictures in it. Uh-huh. That I can distinctly remember to this day. Yeah. And uh, I think my father realized what I was doing. And anyway, that got shut down. Yeah. So uh, anyway, but I, and then, you know, I've always been interested in. Right. More interested than possibly it was normal. Although I've heard that other people are the same. Yeah. So, uh, you know, kids go off when they're in, they reach puberty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, uh, normal part of adolescence. Yeah. Yeah. And some people maybe do it to excess, perhaps. Maybe it gets in the way of their life. Maybe it, I don't know. I did want to be a baseball player. However, I wasn't, uh, I, I let my addiction, my addiction to, let's see, do I have an addiction? <laughs> I don't know. I certainly enjoy looking at it. Well, I mean, you've made a career out of it. So, yeah, the whole question of is there is an addiction issue is something that's certainly been controversial over the years. I had Dr. David Lay on um, a while ago, and he says that it is not a it is not a real addiction. Um, I I have experience with addiction. I've never had experience with an addiction. Um, I think. Anything that releases dopamine and makes you feel good and makes you experience pleasure can be something that can at least be habit forming in a negative way because, you know, as human beings, we're pleasure seekers. I mean, anything. It can be anything. It can be food, exercise. I I tend to watch too much baseball. There you go. You have addiction to baseball. My son would say I'm addicted to it because he (laughs) wants me to play video games, which he arguably is addicted to. Right. Whatever. It's just we're all battling something. Yes. Um. So you started off as a performer and how did you transition into directing? How did that come about? Well, I uh, did still picture layouts in the early eighties mm. where I performed halfway decent. There did my mom ever much... shoot you? Yes. Once. 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 Okay. And I, and I was really horny that day. <laughs> I had a, hard on. a lot of the time, like almost the whole time it was crazy one of the rare experiences because I'm not very good but, as a performer. It, but isn't generally. it, wasn't it back then you weren't supposed to have a complete heart on it? It's yeah, supposed to be well, like a 75. It was like supposed to be hidden half Like, the like way. half, that half hard. Know. Hey, you know, with my, excuse me, um, <laughs> I did want to call my biography Never Has So Little Gone So Far at one <laughs> point in time. And I might still title a chapter in my biography that. But, uh, uh, no, I wasn't that well. In, I'm not that well endowed, but it's a- average, very just average. It's not bad. It's how you use it, right? I agree. And I feel like I have a good amount of skill. Yeah. But enough of that rationalization. Um, uh, it went well. I thought it was really fun, and she only used me once, probably because I wasn't that well endowed. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, how was the experience? 
It was really fun. Seriously. What was she like to shoot for? Hell. She was very relaxed, I thought. Yeah. Very easy to work for. Yeah. So, Do you remember yeah. who your co-star was? No. Some girl who wasn't. This We're talking the 80s here. Like early 80s. Mm. Um, because we we probably unless she was shooting an exclusive for a magazine which she didn't do very often we must still have that film well it was a it was stills i think right right but i mean film like the stills film. film yeah you know okay. film is also I'm stills sure it's not memorable well i mean i enjoyed myself <laughs> do you remember the concept or anything like that or was it just like a bedroom scene like an 80s bedroom um, scene we wound up, uh, we did some inside stuff and then we did some outside stuff in a house that was on the beach in Santa Monica and that stretched below the bluffs there. Hmm. A really expensive house. Wow, yeah. And uh, it was interesting. Do you remember what magazine it was in? No idea. I never saw it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to try to hunt that down. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.